Hi, it's Paul Kelly here from the Enable Head Nerd team. And in this video, we're going to look at how you can store additional information about your devices that is not readily available out of the box in your end central environment. First thing we're going to do is we're going to create a placeholder where we can store this information. And to do so, we're going to use custom properties. Custom properties are available from the service organization level under administration and custom properties. We're going to create two custom properties today as we're going to look to get the public IP address of a device as well as the BitLocker recovery key. We're going to click on add. We're going to do this by device and we're going to choose text type. We're going to give this property a name to correspond what type of information it is. So we'll put in public IP. We're going to leave the default text value as blank right now and we're going to assign this to the device classes that we want to gather this information against. In this particular case, we're going to use laptop windows and workstation windows as well. We'll go ahead and we'll save that custom property and we're going to repeat the process for our BitLocker recovery key. We'll click on add by device, click on text type again. This time we're going to call it BitLocker recovery key. Again, we're going to leave the default text value as blank and we're going to assign this to the device classes that we want to assign it to. So laptop windows and workstation windows again. We go ahead and save that. Now all existing workstation windows and laptop windows devices in your environment will have these key, uh, custom property keys, uh, custom properties assigned to them, but also any future workstation or windows laptops that are added to your end central environment will have these properties assigned to them as well, albeit at the moment with blank values. To check to ensure that these uh, properties have properly been assigned to your device, you can come up to any of those devices from your all devices view that match the, the device class that you've assigned a property to. Click in your settings tab and under the settings menu, you'll find custom properties and we can see both property values are assigned here at the moment, but the values are blank as well. Now that we've created a location to store this additional information in, Next, we're going to look at adding the information to these devices and custom properties. In my particular example, I've downloaded some scripts from our automation cookbook that allows me to get the public IP address as well as the recovery keys for a device. So we're going to come down to our configuration section. We're going to click on schedule tasks and we're going to create a schedule task profile. And the reason we're going to create a schedule task profile is we're going to apply this to rules. So not only does it get the information for all our existing devices in our environment, but it'll also get any uh, uh, the information for any additional devices that are added at a later date to the environment as well. If I just run this using a schedule task at the moment, it will only get the information for the existing devices today. So this way we future proof the uh, system so we get all the information from new devices added later on as well. So we're going to click on add and we're going to give the schedule task profile a name and it might just be get device info. Uh, we're going to choose to add and we're going to choose to use an automation policy. I'm going to use my public IP address. So we type in public IP here. We have a get public IP address, which I've downloaded from our automation cookbook and added to my end central environment. And I'm going to output the value to my uh, public IP uh, device property that I've created. We're going to give this a name. So we're going to call it get public IP address. And I can choose also how often I want to do this. Uh, you know, the public IP address might be something that you want to get in a once off environment uh, or more, off, more likely than not, maybe you want to get this on a regular basis. Maybe you don't want to get it every hour, but you might want to get it maybe um, on a daily basis. So we can choose to get this at uh, 9 a.m. every morning to find out where the device or what the device's public IP address is each day as well. So we'll go ahead and we'll save that in here. We're going to repeat the process again for our recovery key. So we're going to click on add and we're going to choose automation policy. We're going to choose BitLocker from our drop down list here, our BitLocker recovery keys. And again, we're going to out, uh, output the value to our BitLocker recovery key custom property. So we'll go ahead here again, copy this, paste that into our environment. And again, this is information that we want to get on a daily basis. So we'll set to run this on a recurring basis. We'll choose to run on a custom period of time. And we'll get this at half nine every morning as well. So we'll shoot down here to 9.30 add that across and again, run it every day of the week, every week of the month and every month of the year. You know, depending on what information you're getting, you can choose the frequency of the schedule that is required by you as well. 
we'll go ahead and save that here as well. So we have our 2P automation policies gathering this information and writing this information to custom property. We're gonna go ahead and save that information here now. And in order to ensure that this scheduled task profile is deployed to all our existing devices, as well as to any future devices that are added into your environment, we're gonna add it to our workstation and laptop root windows rules as well. So we're gonna come into configuration, monitoring and rules. We're gonna first of all find our windows rules. So we'll use our filtering options here. I'm gonna choose my laptop windows rule and under my scheduled task profiles, I'm going to ensure that the get device info scheduled task profile is assigned to all my laptop devices. We'll go ahead and we'll save that there as such. We're going to repeat the process for our workstation devices. So we're going to click on workstation windows. Click on scheduled task profiles again and again we can add the same scheduled task profile that's going to work on both our workstation and laptop devices as such. Now, the schedule run against the devices. It's gonna write that information for all your existing devices. And as you add new devices into your end central environment, they will also get that information as well. Once the schedule is run, you can come back up to your all devices screen. You can click on the uh, one of the devices that fits the criteria that you're looking for this information from. Click on the settings tab. And if again, you click on the custom properties, you can now see that we've written the recovery key in here as well as the public IP address. And that will update depending on the frequency you've set in your scheduled task profile. So guys, that's how you uh, get additional information about your devices and store it in your end central environment. I hope you found this video useful and we'll see you on the next one.